Happy Halloween 2019. I've been building Halloween props for 10 years now. One prop a year for the last 10 years. And the prop that I built this year is called Creepy Crate. It is my version of a prop that's been around for the last four or five years called Zombie Containment Unit. Most of the improvements that I've seen over the last few years uh, with this particular prop uh, has been making the box look more futuristic, a uh, few more lights and switches, uh, extra video screens that show zombie heart rate and containment levels. Uh, I took mine in a different direction, decided to uh, make the box look uh, more old school uh, like it came out of an old barn. Uh, I also decided to concentrate more on the physical movement of the box itself uh, as opposed to the extra lights and video screens. So here is my version of the zombie containment unit and I call it Creepy Crate. There you go. Uh, not sure if you could tell in the video or not, but uh, the uh, zombie protrudes through this sign, uh, pushes through. This is a stretch effects material. Looks like metal, but it's actually uh, rubber. So I uh, push through something that's supposed to emulate the zombie head out of that. And then uh, through this little uh, knot here in the wood, uh, 80 PSI of air shoots out with an air blaster and uh, really startles anybody that's standing near it. Um, had uh, quite a few issues. This thing moves pretty violently and shakes pretty violently. Uh, I originally had it up on uh, wheels so I could move it around easy. Uh, but then when it cycled through, uh, it shook so much that it uh, shifted about four or five feet which uh, could get kind of dangerous on Halloween night. So I uh, raised it up on a platform. Uh, the shaking uh, also caused me to uh, have to uh, remote all of my electronics. Normally I put them inside my prop, uh, but the shaking was so violent that uh, after about five cycles, all of the cables broke loose and all of the electrical uh, uh, plugs shook loose so uh, it would stop working. So I've remoted everything but it's uh, in a self-contained uh, container and uh, I can just put it up on those uh, two boards there and uh, at the end of the year just store everything and uh, wheel it away. Um, there is the uh, air blaster right there and then uh, what allows uh, the movement of the crate is that three-tiered uh, articulating platform that I built. The uh, three platforms all hinge to the front, then the top two platforms hinge to the left, and then the top platform hinges to the right. And it allows me to get uh, three-dimensional movement uh, 
out of the platform. Let me uh, fire it up and uh, you can see how it moves from the back. There you go. Hope you liked it. Happy Halloween.